Despite her young age, Camila Valiva has managed to make a name for herself and enter the history of world figure skating. She won the hearts of fans with her natural charm, technique, and artistry. But before we start subscribe to our channel, give us a like and post the video in social networks. Next, we will tell you how Camila Valiva the most talented figure skater in the world lives. Camila Valiva was born on April 26, 2006, in Kazan. Little is known about the mother and father of the champion. She rarely talks about them in interviews. In childhood, the future star was painful, because of which her parents were advised to take her to sports. The choice fell on figure skating, her first coach was Senya Ivanova. Already in the early years, Camila could boast of plasticity and grace, which made her skating mesmerizing. Until the age of 10, the girl was engaged in ballet and gymnastics in parallel, but eventually her mother offered her a choice, and Valiva decided that she wanted to become a great figure skater. When the family moved to Moscow, the girl had to move to another sports school. She changed several coaches, but her performances lacked stability. Then the athlete went to try her hand at watching a Terry Tutberidze, who was known for her ability to bring up champions. A couple of elements in the girl's performance were enough for the coach to invite her to the group. This was the beginning of a new page in Camila's biography. Already in her first season in a Terry Tutberidze's group Camila managed to make a loud statement about herself. A short program, Girl on a Balloon, based on the painting by Pablo Picasso was staged especially for her, which allowed the skater to demonstrate excellent stretching, grace, and artistry. The performance did not leave indifferent even Pablo Picasso's granddaughter Diana Picasso, who invited the athlete to visit the artist's museum in Paris. And Tutberidze called, Girl on a Balloon, her favorite number, which caused a resonance in the press. As a result, it was decided to leave the performance for the next season, but the free program was decided to change. Soon Valiva presented a number to the music of Muse Exogenesis, Symphony. Part 3. The staging was handled by the group's lead choreographer Daniil Glykengaus. In the 2019-2020 season, the athlete conquered the fans of figure skating with bright victories at the stages of the Junior Grand Prix. However, in the fall there was unexpected news about Camila's injury, which jeopardized her participation in the World Championship. Fortunately, the girl managed to recover quickly, and already at the end of 2019 she won the Grand Prix final. Later, the figure skater shown at the Saturn Ice Gala concert on Ice Show in Germany and won the Russian Championship. Due to a busy training schedule, the athlete has almost no time for a personal life. In her spare moments she prefers to dance or paint. In March 2020, the World Junior Championships took place in Tallinn, where the figure skater won the championship, beating the silver medalist Darya Yusachova by almost 20 points. This result was recognized as a new world record. Third place went to the promising American athlete Alice Liu. Even a cut on her hand, which she received during the short program, did not prevent Valieva from winning gold. In an interview for Sport Express, Camila answered the question about the injury in a mature way and noted that there is always pain in sports. The main event of December 2020 for Camila was the Russian Championships held in Chelyabinsk. Valiva took the second place, having skated the program with dignity. The winner was Anna Sherbakova, and the bronze went to Alexandra Trusova. In February 2021 Camila took part in the first Channel Cup. As part of this competition, a separate jumping tournament was held in which the girls' team, Camila Valiva, Anna Sherbakova, Elizaveta Tuktamashova and Alexandra Trusova, challenged the boys' team of Mikhail Kolyada, Dmitry Aliyev, Makar Ignatov and Andrei Moselev. Alina Zagitova and Yevgenia Medvedeva became team captains. And in April she took part in a Terry Tutberidze's show, Champions on Ice. The skater started the 2021-2022 season in a spectacular way after control roles in Chelyabinsk, she set two world records at the Finlandia Trophy. This achievement and the first place she received led to numerous disputes in the media about how well deserved the judges evaluated Camila's short and free skating programs. Thus, Valiva's performance included both mistakes and falls. In Bolero she fell while performing a triple axel, and there were a number of mistakes and undercuts in the short program as well. But at the same time in her number there were three quadruple jumps, which was assessed by the jury as the fourth level of difficulty. As a result, Camila was ahead of former record holder Elena Kostornaya. 
At the Grand Prix series, the Master of Sports had to perform at the second stage in Vancouver and at the sixth stage in Sochi. In Canada, she won the women's singles with two world records. In Sochi, Valieva's performance was sensational. She managed to update three world records in the short, free skating and the sum of two programs. Camila became the winner of the World Cup stage in Sochi, she made it to the final of the tournament, which was to be held in Osaka, Japan. However, the country's authorities closed its borders due to the threat of spreading the Omicron strain of coronavirus infection. In March 2022 at the first Channel Cup, Camila took second place in the free skating program, losing the victory to Sherbakova. In September, the Russian figure skaters started their control roles. Camila performed to the soundtrack of the movie, Interstellar, adding a funny intrigue to the number. With the help of Morse code, she encrypted a word that she wanted the fans to solve. The word was a message to herself, something she lacked at the Beijing Olympics. According to journalists, it was about faith. In the musical accompaniment of the free skating program there was also a clear reference to the doping scandal. At a certain point there was even an insert from a foreign newscast dedicated to this topic. In her number, the figure skater used visual images as well, hiding under a hood, as if covering herself from the attacks of journalists. And at the end of December, the Russian Figure Skating Championships 2022-2023 in Krasnoyarsk took place, in which Kamila also took part. She won a silver medal in the women's single program. In February 2022, Kamila competed at the Beijing Olympics. Competing in the team event in women's singles, Valiva was first in both the short and free skating programs, despite even falling on a quadruple tulip, and helped the Russians win gold medals. During her performances, she became the first woman to perform a quadruple jump, a quadruple jump cascade, two quadruple jumps in the same program, as well as a quadruple and triple axle at the Olympic Games. However, the expected award presentation to the Russians was postponed. IOC spokesman Mark Adams said that the Olympic organizers needed some kind of legal advice. Later, the press clarified that it was about the sample of Camila Valiva, taken in December, two months before the start of the Games in Beijing, and an additional legal difficulty was the age of the athlete according to the rules of the World Anti-Doping Code as a minor she was a protected person, and could not be officially declared an anti-doping rule violator. The drug in question was presumably trimetazidine. This drug protects the heart and brain during intense exertion. It was included in the list of prohibited drugs back in 2014 the use can be authorized for individual athletes, but for this it is necessary to register a therapeutic exception. On February 10, Mark Adams called reports of Valiva's questionable doping test speculation, emphasizing that the IOC has delegated authority over doping samples to the Court of Arbitration for Sport and the International Testing Agency. On February 14, the Court of Arbitration for Sport allowed Valieva to continue competing in singles events at the Olympics. The decision was made taking into account the athlete's protected person status she is under 16 years old. On the same day, the IOC decided not to hold the awarding ceremony for the winners of the team figure skating tournament and announced that in case Camila takes the prize winning place as a single skater the awarding ceremony will not take place either. On February 15, Valieva, performing her short program, passed not only Russians Anna Sherbakova and Alexandra Trusova, but also Japan's Kaori Sakamoto, becoming only fourth in the overall standings. Upon arrival in Russia, the winners of the team figure skating tournament, including Valiva, were presented with special prizes necklaces with hearts. Interestingly, the hearts are arranged similarly to the Olympic rings. In January 2023, the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA reported the annulment of Camila's results at OI 2022. Rusada filed an appeal with the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Valieva's doping trial was scheduled for November 2023. The requirements of WADA were to suspend the figure skater from competitions for four years, as well as to cancel all the medals that Camila received in the season 2021-2022. The athlete herself believed that since the doping violation was accidental, unintentional, the annulment of her achievements was illegal. Meanwhile, the champion planned to continue her career and was going to compete at the Grand Prix stage in Kazan. On November 9 and 10, the CAS resumed proceedings on Valieva's positive doping sample. Camila again appeared in court and then went to the tournament in Kazan. Valieva did not perform well at the first Russian Grand Prix after a long break. According to the results of two programs, she took fourth place. 
This result was the worst for Camila since 2019. However, already at the Grand Prix stage in Moscow, the figure skater became the first. Valiva allowed two falls, but they did not prevent her from beating Veronika Yamedova by almost 14 points. Camila called herself happy after the victory and thanked everyone who helped prepare the programs. Interesting facts. At home, Valieva has a spitz named Leva, which she received as a gift from her fan club. The dog is a star of the internet, he has his own page in social networks. Valieva has been repeatedly compared to Alina Zagitova. The girls are similar not only in appearance, but also in national origin, prospects in skating and technical superiority over other representatives of their age category. For Camila, Alina is an idol and role model. Guys, if you liked our video, but you haven't subscribed to us yet, subscribe right now and post the video on social networks, there will be a lot of interesting things in the next episodes. See you soon. Bye.